Hello again, how are you all? Now, what have you all been up to? Oh my goodness, that all sounds like so much fun and I love that you're all back to school again and you get to see all your fabulous friends. Well, I am Detective Lottie Ladybird, your mini bee super sleuth who is ready to turn all of you today into the best mini bee detectives ever. Now, welcome to this month's Mini Bees Kids Club, where today we are going to learn all about how to be the best Mini Bees detectives ever. So then we can go searching for caterpillars, spiders, millipedes, ladybirds, and lots more little critters that share this wonderful world with us outside. So, how do you feel about Mini Bees? Do you like them? Are they a little bit like scary? Well, they are the super cool, super small, four, five, six, even eight-legged creepy crawlies that you can find in your garden, in ponds, up trees, flying around at the park, and sometimes they even sneak into your house like cheeky spiders do. Invertebrates, all mini beasts, have been living on our planet for about 550 million years. That is such a long time. So today, I'm gonna to show you how you can make your own super snazzy mini beast binoculars just like this. They're gonna help us go mini beast hunting. And then later on, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own butterfly spoon puppet, just like this one here. And to make along with me today, you're gonna to have to pick up an awesome make and take away kids club bag from Arena Shopping Park this half term. And it includes everything you're gonna to need to make along at home in the school holidays. So make sure you pick up yours from the shopping center as they're gonna be snapped up super quickly. And in between all of us getting like all crafty and making our things, we're gonna have the best mini beast yoga workshop today to help us all take five minutes, chill like a snail, and learn some bug inspired yoga moves to keep us as bendy as a centipede and busy as bees this half term. Right, should we do this little mini beast detectives? Before we start, you gotta beat my friend, it's Barry the Beetle. Hey Barry, how you doing? Now, did you know that beetles actually get two sets of wings when they become grown-ups and they communicate to fellow beetles through sound vibration? How cool is that? Barry, you're so cool. If I had two sets of wings, I would also zoom around everywhere, I think. So first, we're gonna make some super awesome bug spotting binoculars today. So if you've picked up your make and take away box from Arena Shopping Park, check inside and you're gonna have everything you need to get started. So, Mini Beast Detective Binoculars basically give you superpowers to spot all the creepy crawlies when you're out in the garden or off exploring. Now, when you have made your bug spotting binoculars today, show off and share your craft making with us on Arena Shopping Park social pages using hashtag Mini Beast Detectives for a chance to win a wonderful 50 pounds gift card. So, to make these, you're gonna need the two empty toilet roll tubes from your make and takeaway kit, or you may have some at home. You're gonna need a few bug stickers from your make and takeaway bag. And you can use colored pens, or if you've got some paints at home, that's fine as well. So here's my paints that I'm gonna use. Um, some card from your, inside your make and takeaway bag, and a bit of sticky tape or some glue just here. And if you are gonna use paint, make sure you've got a paintbrush as well. Now. Are you ready, little mini beast detectives? So here is a pair of bug spotting binoculars that I made a little bit earlier on. Do you like them? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own. So first of all, grab your toilet roll inners and you're gonna use your paints or pens from home to add some color and design to them. So today I'm gonna to use some paint. So I'm gonna get some kitchen roll. So if you are painting, make sure you get a bit of tissue. You don't wanna get any paint on the table. And I'm gonna grab my paintbrush as well and I'm gonna use some red paint. So, grab your nose. Now, if you haven't got any paint, don't worry at all. You can use pens to decorate. So, I'm gonna go all the way around, just like this, making sure I don't get any paint on the table and give it a paint, just like that. Oh, this is a bit of hard work. Now, here is a few, so I'm gonna leave these to dry and I'm gonna get some that I did a little bit earlier on. So I'm gonna put those just to dry just there. And these are two that I painted a little bit earlier on. So now I can start to add some edges to it. So I'm gonna get the cardboard and a little bit earlier on, I cut the strips 
already. So take your four strips that can be stuck onto your boogie binoculars to give them an edge. So just like this, grab them. And you can use glue or you can use some sticky tape. So I'm gonna use a little bit of sellotape just here. Just like that. And I'm gonna add an edge to the bottom just like this as well. Now you can add whatever color or whatever design you like onto your binoculars. Just like this. I can't wait to make these and go and look for mini beasts in my garden. So that's my first one done just like that. And I'm gonna do the exact same with this one. So I'm gonna wrap it all the way around just like this. And you can use PVA glue or sellotape. And make sure you've got a grown up around just to help you because it can be a little bit tricky. Just like this. And this is my final edge onto my buggy binoculars now. So wrap it all the way around and grab a tiny bit of sellotape. You don't need too much, just a tiny bit. And I have just stuck it onto there so it folds over to the edge, just like that. So they should look a little bit like that. Now I've added the edges onto my boogie binoculars, I'm gonna get the mini bee stickers that you can find in your make and takeaway bag. So today I think I'm gonna use a butterfly, I'm gonna use a caterpillar, um, I'm gonna get a ladybird, just like that. I'm gonna add my mini bee stickers all around the binoculars. Now you can add these wherever you like. I'm gonna pop a butterfly onto this side, just like this. And remember, you can add any design. You can use your colored pen. You can make it all curly, or you can add dots onto it, whatever you like. And I'm gonna add my flower onto the front, just like that. Now, I think I'm gonna add my name onto it. So I think I'm gonna add my detective name, which is Lottie Ladyberg. So I'm gonna grab my pen and I'm gonna pop it at the top, just like this. So Lottie. And then I'm gonna put Ladybird on the other side. Lady. bird. Just like that Lottie Ladybird. Next step, now we're going to need our sellotape for this one. So I need you to tear some tape and roll it back to make it into a double-sided tape and that's going to stick our two toilet roll inners together. So grab your sellotape. You may need a grown-up to help you with this one because it could be, could get a bit sticky. So you're just going to twist it around like this so we're almost making it into double-sided tape and we're gonna pop it in the middle just like that. And I want you to stick it together just like that. And you may need to add a few more strips of sellotape. So I'm gonna add a few more to the bottoms and to the top so that they don't come apart. And make sure you like press it together just like this to make sure that they really stick together just like that. And I'm gonna add another strip of sellotape to the top as well because I don't want my binoculars to come apart when we're searching for mini beasts in the garden. So just like this and make sure they're really stuck together like that. Amazing. Now we're nearly finished. We're nearly finished. I think they're quite, I think they're stuck together just like that. Do you like mine so far? There we go. Amazing. Now on my binoculars, I added a little strap. So if you would like to, there'll be some ribbon in your make and takeaway bag, you can add some. So all we're gonna do with this is, again, you're gonna get your sellotape and you're gonna attach the ribbon to the inside of the toilet roll. So I'm gonna grab my sellotape again. And you just need a little strip of it. Again, you may need a grown up to help you because it can get a little bit fiddly. Pop that in there, just like that. Just to the inside of the toilet roll. Make sure you've stuck it on. And do the exact same with the other side and stick it to the other side. It can 
get a little bit fiddly. So if you need a grown up, give them a shout. Um, there we go. And there we go. I am all ready to get in my garden and start to go hunting for some marvellous mini bees this summer. Now, take them outside with you along with your mini beast hunt sheet that's in your bag and you can start your own mini beast detective adventures. Remember, mini beasts are small and harmless, so be kind to them and be careful around the places and spaces that they live. It's their world too. After all that making and painting, I am ready for some chill time. What about you? I'm feeling a little bit tired. So get into some comfy clothes, create a little space around you if you can, and let's slow down the pace now like a snail. It's time to join my friend Kate for our mini beast yoga session. I'm ready, so over we go. Let's go.